it's difficult to say that there's just one thing about airplanes that makes them interesting to me. The aluminum and riveted structures are just kind of cool, but I think it's just really the aesthetics of them. They're like functional sculptures. My job at Honeywell is APU project engineer. Still photography has been a lifelong hobby of mine. When I was five years old, a big kid, he was probably in fourth grade, came by and said, hey, if you're interested in airplanes, you should check out this book. And it was a 1956 observer's book of aircraft. The 707 prototype is in here. There's one of these down at the Pima Air Museum. Scott's like a lot of us in, in the museum business, and I think the reason we relate to him really well is he's kind of cut from the same nerdy cloth that the rest of us are. So yeah, so we've got a, a whole range of, of cameras here. We have a whole bunch of Nikon film bodies, Hasselblad 501CM down there, an A7R2. This is another stereo camera right here. These are all medium format Mamiya. Well, interestingly enough, when I first got hired into the engineering group, the engineer that hired me actually wrote into the requirement that I needed to be able to take quality photographs and use Photoshop. So in a strange kind of way, it actually panned out to get me hired. Well, they had hoisted the uh, APU all the way up as far as it would go. I work with a tremendous number of very talented people, and it's been really a privilege for me because they are truly experts in their field. One of the key things that Scott brings to the company is that he's very interested in aircraft. He knows the history of all the, all the airplanes. Heck, he even knows the tail numbers to some of them. <laughs> there is a tie-in between the attention to detail that we use at work and the attention to detail required to get a good photograph. I think Scott's genuine passion for the aircraft really translates into the photographs he takes. He's really good at rebreathing life back into airplanes that haven't lived for a long time. About 10 years ago, I was given the task of taking photographs for a book that the Pima Air and Space Museum was going to put out. There's an art to this. It's not just a, a picture of an airplane. I want it to be something that people can look at and go, wow, that's really something. I've been up over the Salton Sea in a harness secured to the floor of the aircraft. It was quite an opportunity and a very rare one. We really got some phenomenal shots. There's an emotional tie-in for me that goes way back to my childhood. It seems like every, every part of my life has had this direct connection to the next part. It's been something that I feel extremely fortunate to have been able to do.